十年的了。Sold at $12.5 million, Zhao Wuqi's abstraction set an auction record for the artist at Sotheby's Beijing auction on Sunday. But that's not the only first for the event. This is the first time since Sotheby's entered China that we're holding a full-scale commercial auction here. And it seems to have paid off. Sotheby's Sunday auction fetched $37 million, 80% more than pre-sale estimates. And Zhao's work, the top-priced item, went to a Chinese buyer. Recent changes in government policy have allowed both Christie's and Sotheby's to hold their first full auctions on the mainland this year. Now, it's a little bit of a sensitive topic that nobody wants to talk too much about, but it has opened up a window of opportunity too big to ignore. This April, Christie's became the first international auction house licensed to operate on the mainland without a Chinese partner. Their first mainland auction in September raised almost $10 million more than pre-sale estimates. Sotheby's, on the other hand, operates here under a joint venture, but both say this allows them to expand their reach and available expertise to Chinese buyers, and more importantly, bank in on China's growing eye for Western art. These few years, a lot of domestic buyers are starting to take note of Western art. Everybody must know that Wanda bought a Picasso, and that has garnered a lot of attention within the industry. China's art market remains restricted, especially on the most lucrative end of the art and antiques market. So it remains to be seen if the mainland will replace Hong Kong as the auction hub for Chinese buyers. But, as the numbers show, the potential here is nothing to laugh at. Christine Ha, Bloomberg, Beijing.